all you demons and happy Friday. I hope you all enjoyed your week as usual. Today we're gonna be playing the game of Is it a medieval torture device or a historical medical tool? My editor put these all together, so I have absolutely no idea what's gonna be on these slides. All I know is that some of them are medical devices and some of them are torture devices. And it's my job to guess what they do and which one they are. So <laughs> let's get into it. I'm told to prepare. Okay, so first one looks, oh, what the heck? <laughs> I wanna say this looks like a medical device only because it looks like it has a usage to it. it kind of looks gnarly. It looks like a messed up gardening shovel. I'm gonna say medical device only because it looks well kept. And I think it's used for um, intestines. I think it's used for like cutting things up and doing stuff inside. This device is called a gorget and it was used during surgery to widen the incision for easier inspection without more cutting. Boom! Woo! Give me my medical degree right now. I'm looking at you college that I go to that I won't explain on YouTube because I don't want people to coming after me. All right, we have, okay. That just looks like an alligator attached. It's, mm -mm. This looks bad. Automatically, it's giving me torture device thing vibes. I'm gonna say that these are called the pinchers or the calipers or something brutal like that. And I'm gonna say these were either heated up and like raked across a person's arm. Ooh, I think, let's see. Torture, yes, awesome. So these are called the crocodile shears. I said it looked like a crocodile or an alligator too. They were used to superheat it until they were red hot. Oh, dude, I'm two for two now on these torture and what they what they do. Ah, uh, I don't know if that's concerning or not. <laughs> don't worry, I'm a good doctor. All right, up next we have. I don't even know what to call these. These look like scissors with the type of like adjustable screw on the back. I want to say this is medical because it looks like the screw is used for like extreme tightening or keeping it at that level. I'm gonna say this is similar to the calipers. Instead of keeping things open, they're probably gonna be used to hold or cut things. Torture? Oh my God! The tongue would be gripped between it, then yanked out. Oh God! <laughs> That's gnarly. I feel like these are only gonna get worse. Some of the medieval devices and torturing things that I've seen just, mm -mm. I'm gonna stop imagining that. Okay, coming up next. This looks like a Mortal Kombat weapon. What the heck? I don't know what to make of these. Ah, they look like double pronged. I don't know, it has screws in it. That's kind of a dead giveaway that it might be a medical device. But again, this has been very iffy. Uh, I'm gonna say torture device used to hold somebody's arms up like this and they'll stab them if they do that. Torture. Yeah, this device is called the heretic's fork and it was fastened to a belt that's pointed ends were at the chin and the chest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the victim is unable to lower their head without stabbing themselves. That just kind of sounds like the thing that the, the British soldiers say that they have where they're like little pins right here in their uniform. So if they like nod off, they're like, ah. <laughs> All right, up next. Oh my gosh, these... Oh, these definitely look like torture devices, but I feel like they're medical devices. Is it bad that we have to actually play this game to decipher whether or not it's a medical device or a torture device? I'm gonna say it's a medical device used for marking the positions in which they needed to make a cut. Medical, the... <laughs> the jugum penis was ringed used to stop unwanted erections and ejaculate <laughs> at the time they were believed that nocturnal emission or wet dreams were a medical condition that needed a cure <laughs> that's just sad don't ever do that please <laughs> All right, next one. This looks overly complicated, so it must be a torture device. You put your head here, you put your two arms there, and then your legs here, so you're kind of just like, <laughs> stuck in that position of like, 
I don't know, maybe and you were hung up or strewn up somewhere. Torture, yes. The scavenger's daughter was invented during the reign of King Henry VIII and was often used on women. I mean, it makes sense. Come on, King Henry VIII, like, you gotta know. The victim would kneel as tightly together as possible as the torture locked them in that position with the device. After being kept in that position for 90 plus minutes? Oh my gosh, blood would pool in the lungs and eventually begin exciting the body, excite, eventually exiting the body through the ears, nostrils, butt, and pretty much every other orifice possible. One, how did they know that this would do this? Two, who tested it? And three, just why? I'm confused as to how they even found out it did that, but hey, they had a lot of time on their hands. I'd imagine they just thought of ways to torture people. Uh, this looks very clean. It looks very like gold and silver. Those are like clean, pure metals. So I wanna say it's a medical device. This is very difficult to find out what it was for though. Uh, it looks like a crank of some sort, but I'm, I'm very scared. I feel like the crank attaches to a piece of your body instead of like another machine. Medical, the trepan was used in brain surgery or traumatic brain injuries to drill a small hole into the skull to access the brain or remove fragments of the skull. Ugh. Oh, ow. I knew it was bad when I saw that you had to like that just must have been terrible and then you're not unconscious sometimes and you just uh, it's terrible thinking about that stuff. Okay, next one. What the heck is this? This looks bad. I think the only reason why I'm so scared of this is because well, I think you know guys. I'm gonna say this was called the Trinity Stabber, and it was used to just entangle intestines. Torture. This pearl of anguish was used in the mouth and lower orifices to stretch them and cause extreme pain. If used in the mouth, it would eventually break the skull and jaw, causing death. Now I know why they call it the Pearl of Anguish. Dear God. At that point, just shoot me. Like, I think I would have fought somebody, the executioners, but somebody with the biggest, most sharpest blade. I would just push him and say, hey, you look ugly today, bud. And then have him just stab me or something instead of the Pearl of Anguish. Oh. All right. Well, <laughs> that was an adventure and a half. Thank you all so much for joining me on this possibly mind-scarring adventure, and I hope you all enjoy your weekend and hopefully erase all of these terrible things from your mind. <laughs> As always, stay spooky. Bye-bye.